Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about advanced selection in Revit. So maybe you've been in this position where you need to select a variety of elements in order to change their properties or to isolate them for a specific view so it's better for you to work in. But when you start adding more and more stuff to your selection, you accidentally misclick and you've completely screwed the selection. Or equally so, you find yourself selecting the same selection set again and again and it gets annoying whenever you're trying to work. So what most people don't know is that you can actually save a selection of the elements that you've selected into your project so you can load them again in the future. So for example, I'm going to say that I want to select all the elements in this part of the building just so I can edit them with ease. So now what I can do is I can hit save and I can call this dev01 for example. So now if I want to select those elements again, all I have to do is go to the Manage tab and go to the Load part under Selection. And if I go to the part that we just saved, which is Dev01, I've now selected those exact same elements. So it's easier for me to edit. And now, best thing is that I can actually edit this selection almost like it was a group. So if I go to the Selection Filters and hit Edit, I can add this door, for example, um, maybe these doors. And uh, maybe there's some stuff that I actually didn't want part of this group. So for example, it was this wall. I can just remove it, finish the selection, hit OK. And then if I go back to the same part and hit load, our selection has been updated. So this should save you loads of time when it comes to selecting groups. But this gets even better with PyRevit, right? So I'm doing the exact same example again. I'm just going to select this part of my building. I'm going to take away the grids and the floors. And the stairs here. Under the PyRevit tab, I can go to M right. This is like the buttons on a calculator where it's memory append, memory write, uh, memory clear. So if I go M right, you can see here if I just go M read, it's got the element selected. But let's say I want to add these doors right to the current selection. If I go here, all I have to do is select the doors and just go back to PyRevit and hit M append. So it's appending it to our previous selection. And if I go M read, you can see that it's selected. We don't actually have to go to the edit group part and add or remove stuff, right? So if, again, if I want to remove this wall, for example, I can go to memory, mdeduct, and then again, if I go to mread, everything's still selected. Now, if I want to save this selection in PyRevit, I can go to the memory, save memory as selection. An important thing to note is that when you go to your selection sets, you might want to rename them because if I go to edit, the PyRevit one, it saves it as a timestamp for the name. So maybe you want to make it something more clearer while you edit it. And one last thing when it comes to selection is sometimes when we want to select everything such as doors, sometimes we have to select everything and then by filter, we have to go none and then choose doors. It'd be useful if we can select doors just from the beginning, right? So on PyRevit, we can go to the pick tab. If you scroll down, you can either see pick detail elements or model elements. But if I just click pick, it will say which elements do you just want to pick? So if I hit doors, and now I go to my selection, you can see only doors were selected and it saves us this filter step. So I hope you found a few things in this video helpful when it comes to selecting things in Revit or saving the selection. Um, yeah, till next time. Cheers.